What is it? This is our automatic shutoff valve. Nice little add-on. Basically, this is our setup. We have our power supply into the automatic shutoff valve. Our control panel is here. From there, there's two wires. We have our wire going to the valve, and then we have our contactor, which is sitting right there in our pan. Doesn't have to go into a pan. If you don't have a pan, you can do the valve without it. Um, I do like the pan with the valve, just because it'll help contain the water, get that contactor wet quicker when it does leak. Otherwise, the ground may slope a different way without the pan, and then you won't know right away. But basically, that contractor gets wet. It'll send off an audible alarm. When I hit the close button, it'll be the same thing as the contactor getting wet. Shuts the valve, which stops the water supply. From there, this light is going to turn red. It's going to blink red, and then it's going to be chirping. There's a button to stop the noise and a button to manually reopen. So I can come over here, hit the open button, and then that's going to automatically open itself back up which you could also use as a way to shut off your water. If you're going away for the weekend, you can just close it yourself and leave it as is. But when the contactor gets wet, whether it be a little pipe that was leaking, it ran down, the relief valve blows up, which is in our pan, or the water here itself starts leaking. That contactor gets wet, sends a signal to here, your light switches to red, valve shuts off, and your alarm starts going off. From there, you can either see whether it was a fault or not by just opening it back up, seeing if it shuts again, or you give us a call and we come out and see what's going on.